Hey folks, Phil Gallagher of Thraven U here for another Monster Train run. Um, gotta say, I'm in love with this game right now. I had a rather crazy run earlier today that I thought I had no chance of winning. I managed to cobble it together, so I'm kind of riding that high. Uh, we are Stygian Awoken, which is one of my favorite combinations with a very powerful starting deck. Um, we'll want to go to a Merchant of Magic to make this cost less. Um, but I'm like very happy with the scaling that this offers. This is very good if we pick up an Animus of Will. And like you're never sad to see something like a Coddle Hex in your opener. Um, doing a quick survey of the map. Uh, looks like we're going to have Stygian-centric units this run. And we're on Devour Seraph. Guildmarker is one of my favorite things to pick up at the beginning of a run. You just get 25% more gold over the course of a run. That's so, so powerful. But Split Anvil is insane with two Ice Tornadoes in the starting deck. Or I should probably just take this. Alright, we are starting out on a Spell Weakness build. That's fine. Since we have Ice Tornado, like, that's an okay place to be. Um... Yeah... Hoping to just draw an Ice Tornado in the opening hand and then that makes this a joke. Nope! That's fine. All the rest of these are just doing one damage at a time. Um, so just in case you're not familiar with the split anvil, it is spells in hand are reduced by one until end of turn, not like everything. So, Cuddle Hex, for example, does not become free. Two, three, four, five, one restore will be great here. And that just netted us four ember. So good. Also, like, Tethys hits like a truck right now. Way that a restore does this. I have two regen. Go down to three, up to five. Doesn't actually give me an additional turn. So this is surviving. I can kill it with ice tornado and take three, otherwise I take five the other way. Yeah. I mean, to take a trial and only take nine damage, not the end of the world. So 
with Split Anvil, it's just awkward if we draw multiple three-cost cards. I still think it's probably worth picking up one of these two here. I think I like the utility of a Titan's Tooth for the variety. <clears throat> We're not on Double Barrel Daedalus. I don't have to take Bind Grass. I'm just going to take Wildwood Sap, I think. We're going for a Stygian Banner, which makes it a little worse than normal, but, like... You still need to keep tanks alive somehow. It's feeling like I should try to play an encant build, so like Siren of the Sea, great. Oh, an Endless Shark would be clutch. Endless Shark, do 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 do. Like seems unnecessary. Um, do I just want to take the Battlestone so that I don't have to reroll the shop? I think so. I think we call that good enough. Now we're probably going to the Merchant of Magic next floor, but that may change if we get offered a unit trial. We did. This is the hardest fight for a Tethys start. I have a shark that I can play on three floors. We'll make it work. Restore here, honestly. I assume we're doing that. and sweep all that back stuff and then do that to fill this get a frozen lance and a decent amount of restore now we just like ride the shark up the floors so good This is probably too many three drops. I think I'm just gonna skip this. I will gladly take either a Glimmer or a Steel Enhancer. Steel Enhancer is pretty good at keeping Tethys alive later on. I don't find like a totem or something. Glimmer is much better in the short term. Much, much, much better in the short term. Hello! Hello! Way to keep Tethys alive. Welcome. Take Ember after the first boss now, which I was probably wanting to do anyway. That's fine. Siren here. 
great pickup. Okay, permafrost, I don't think we're into that. I think I want plus 10 power on the Glimmer first, or the Ice Tornado first. Probably the Glimmer. I'm going to do a cost reduction on one of the three drops, so I have the possibility of drawing two of these at the same time and getting both in the same turn. I think that's going to be the Titan's Tooth. That's a card that I would just like to cast a good portion of the time. Now am I re-rolling the shop? Not spending gold next floor either way, so yes. Alright, plus 10 magic power at this point. We'll go on an ice tornado. Free Glimmer? Reduce the cost of one Ice Tornado. Weird thing is, like, I'm making a lot of my ones free anyway. So, like, reducing a Glimmer to zero cost does very little. Because as long as I draw an Ice Tornado or a Titan's Tooth, I'm, like, good. I think I'll do this. Devour Sarah, huh? The one that gives me blights? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. It loots the deck for a little while. But seeing as we're gonna take Ember after this fight, it's not really a problem. So I would like to set up on the bottom floor for endless shark reasons. I want to be able to play shark on all three floors in every fight. Ah, yes, this siren does not have like a base HP upgrade yet. So the stats are not impressive. Luckily, like this is fine. We're just like not gonna take advantage of this sap totem early on in this fight. It's still very expensive for us. Okay. Hey, we have this cuddle hex too. That's like a thing. I love that this just like fires off Frostbite like poor Daedalus. I think I just like let the shark die and then replay it rather than try to keep it alive by killing the bomb. Gives me better scaling for the long term. Now let's just uh let's just purge this. Oh, final wave. We're here already? I want to purge again. Yeah, I don't really want these in my deck right now. Like, I've taken this purely for the endgame prospects. And by this, I mean the Ember Stasis. Yes, 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 these cards are great. I think it's... Well, Awoken Rail Spike is particularly interesting and weird because of Split Anvil. So I can cast, assuming I take Ember, I cast it for X equals 4, and then that makes 
any cards that were already in my hand free and also reduces the cost of things in the future so this is like a huge boon in terms of ember costs but ancient synergy uh, is a huge damage spell I don't know maybe if I have two ice tornadoes already this is better Also, am I, like, not getting another Merchant of Steel until after Fell? Huh. Doesn't usually happen. That's weird. That means the Siren is, like, kind of awkward for a while. Like, as long as it doesn't die turn one, it's fine. I don't know which one of these is better. Not Ice and Fire. Like, that would be a card I would be happy to have, but not over these two. If I don't get offered Frostbite, it's pretty important to probably have this. If I get offered Frostbite, I think I want the other one more. Uh, do I care about a Woken Hollow? Like, do I want more units? I don't not want more units, but... If I'm not getting to upgrade these for a while, it seems like I should just duplicate a unit that I already have upgraded, or will upgrade later, rather than make some of my starting deck stuff just worse. Like, for example, if I were to take a Shattered Shell and I draw that over, like, the Titan Sentry a good portion of the time, um, it's probably no bueno. I don't hate duplicating Titan Sentry. Just makes it more likely that I have it on turn one, which is important. Duplicating Titan Sentry comes attached to remove two train stewards. I probably pass on whatever this unit is, so this is just like artifact and gold. Whereas this is like an upgraded unit plus power health plus remove. I imagine this is better. There's also worlds where I just duplicate this because, you know, it's dumb. And I just try to set up like Titan Sentry, Tethys, Lodestone, Lodestone. That's real good come the end of the run, but not great in the short term, where I do need DPS to end fights, especially since I only have one upgraded unit right now. Um, I think I'm just going to take another one of these to make my life simpler and more consistent. Multi-strike I do not think is a problem against my Frostbite machine. That happens, and now the question is, like, do I play Tethys on one? I think I play Tethys on one. I can play Tethys on three to be better at getting the collector, but that seems a little greedy. Because then I can't use Tethys' spell weakness to actually kill the boss. Let's be good about that. Just use this opportunity to get rid of this. I think so. I could, like, not take any damage this turn, but seems like taking damage is fine. Great! So we go... Gah. Gah. Now I can cast three spells? Casting three spells something that I want to do, or do I just want this shark to die? Shark can probably die next turn instead. 
Or not at all. Maybe not at all. Maybe we just win. I need to leave two spaces available here. I'm fine with freezing a card to my hand. That still leaves room for Titan Sentry. try to keep the shark alive. You are getting a lot of uh, frostbite. You, you picked up 21 there. It's a rather considerable number. And I don't have room for this. I'll just freeze it to my hand. Uh, yeah, we just, we just win. That's nice. Tap, tap, okay. Guardian stone, huh? Ice storm, huh? Yeah, we're going to a merchant of magic next floor? Well, I can go to a Merchant of Magic next floor, is more accurate. If I pick this card, I do go to a Merchant of Magic next floor, I think. What would I Hellvent? Now, would I take a Lodestone Totem? Just another one? I don't know. The really one is card removes. That's not what really what's happening next floor. I should go to one of these two Merchant of Magics, but probably not both. And try to go to the Merchant of Trinkets to pick up something like a Cuddlebeard that becomes run defining while also getting card removes. But if I do that, I kind of want to not like not go to a Merchant of Magic. And not going to a Merchant of Magic is super awkward. Because I need to go to the floor 7 Merchant of Steel to like actually upgrade my units. Maybe it's fine. Like, I Ice Storm upgraded is really strong. Really strong. Like, exactly the sort of thing I want for this deck. I think I'm gonna pick it up. Um, do I need an additional Ember from Pyrogro? Makes low tone to low stone totems easier, especially if I end up duplicating them. I think I'll take that. And now that I have that pyre grow, do I want to go left duplicate load stone totem? Kind of. Kind of do. Tap tap gives me a little bit of extra card draw from time to time.
This is additional card draw. Man, maybe I can just take capacity this fight now that I picked this up. So, like, I take capacity, and I have, like, one, two, three, five, six. Regardless, I think I go for this dupe here. And I'm, like, very much eyeing capacity. Elf shield? Elf shield's awkward. But I feel absurdly strong. I think I can do this. Um, Tethys probably goes mid-floor here. Oof, really wanted a shark this turn. Okay. Guaranteed to draw a shark next turn, right? I have no other priority units other than two sharks. That's correct. Uh, so if I do this, though, this iron doesn't go with it. I just play Cuddle Hex up here and then not play Siren in this fight unless Siren gets frozen? Or do I just play Siren? Now oh, this is effective card draw. I roll with this. I want things to still attack, kind of, so that I can kill this, but I don't know how possible that is, given how this turn is going to go. I just kind of ignore that floor. Eh. Don't uh don't love where this is at. Where? What's this? Do 70? Just three hits. I can't change that. Bell shield is a thing. Um, I can sap this floor once and still have everyone hit an appropriate number of times. Maybe this spell shield challenge was a little harder than I was expecting. Frostbite is on this thing. I I kill that thing with Ice Tornado next turn, it doesn't matter. And if I don't kill it, I can just sap it to death. 
get this stuff out of here. Spell shield stacks, have some regen, have some frostbite. Yeah, 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 yeah. 16 sap that turn. Lordstone Totem is a fair and balanced card. You believe that it used to cost less than three? I can't. Well, I mean, I can. But, you know. I don't think I want another Ice Storm. Uh, restoring Retreat to overfill a floor is totally cool. That's a way that I can get the Siren in on a floor sometimes. Uh, Unleash the Wildwood is also like totally fine. I think we're gonna take the uncommon over it. Alright, so I'm going to the Merchant of Steel here, and I'm going to the Merchant of Magic here. The question is like, what am I doing on this floor? Is it going to the Merchant of Trinkets for the card remove, or is it going here because upgrades on cards like Ancient Synergy and Ice Storm are very important? I think either way I win the fight. I think either way I win the next two fights handily, actually. I think the card removes very good. They eat train stewards here. I can also just choose not to spend money. Like, that is a thing that I am allowed to do in this game. Okay, or I can just get offered an absolutely insane set of cards. I think this combination solves one of my biggest problems with the run, which is like my my lack of ability to deal with 190 HP enemies. Like that really decreases the amount of damage that I would take, the amount of fire damage that I would take. Clutch. Great, we have a shark in our opening hand, which means I can set up on bottom. I wonder if it is better to Ice Tornado this turn rather than play the Siren. Because, like, I theoretically want Sap Totems. Here. Like, I theoretically want Sap Totems here, I theoretically want another Dark here. I'm gonna play Siren on the second floor and just hope it stays alive. Loose. Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna play this Siren since it's unupgraded right now. Oh, does Lodestone Totem have priority? Neat.
don't want to play more spells here. I want this shark to die. I'm good with redeploying that. Um, but you are probably making it to the fire, unfortunately. That is my plan. Not that that would change anything there specifically. Oh, okay. You're you're already effectively dead. Same with you. That's cool. All right, the Titan Sentry. The sweep. Excuse me. Second Lodestone Totem. Do ice, or sorry, into Ancient Synergy. No. Second Lodestone Totem into Sting is good enough. The sap is stupid. Wrong. The so fifty seven is really fine. As long as it's below forty by the time they're up to the top, I'm good. So this can be a Titan's Tooth here. We also might just like sap fell for approximately infinity. The thing that could occur. Sorry, right, cuddle hex. Um, how's this middle floor doing? Fifty-five. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just sap everything to Oblivion. Yep, we're good. Maybe should have like thought about killing Statue, but it seems like we just went already. This turn I'll do that. We'll play another shark here. And a siren here. I can like restoring retreat some stuff down at some point. I'll just think it's correct to just zap the spell. Eh. No big deal. We do have to make sure we don't kill our own Tethys or Totems. That's like a thing that does matter. Already dead before I even put any sap on it. So it has 20 sap as of right now. Uh, 34 sap. Good fight. Just lodestone coding things. seems fine. I don't think I need Horcrossed Effigy to win. I think I take Capacity. Just make it easier to do Lodestone Totem shenanigans. <clears throat> Not run into bad shape against like a small floor or something. I want Frostbite 20 here. Or Shim Steel. Plus, eh. This upgrade seems important. Hmm. 
I know the sap is supposed to keep it alive, but let's let's just make sure, you know? I could put Endless on the other one for similar reasons, but that seems like a waste of gold. Eh, okay. Plus 25 HP can go there. And for the other one, we'll do the Enchant Armor 1. I don't think Quick is worth the gold. Um... I don't think I'm probably going to the Merchant of Magic on the last floor. Like, upgrading the Ancient Synergy and the Ice Tornado and the Ice Storm is probably better than upgrading the Siren. Enemy units appear on each floor. Deal. Deal, 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 deal. Um, challenge is a joke if I draw an Endless Shark turn one. Otherwise, the fire takes a little bit of damage. The fire will take 15 from the explosions as of right now. Okay. Not get Ember Drained. Fuck, Cuddle Hex. Alright, you need to go out of the deck next floor. That's not cool. Not cool, Cuddle Hex. I think I have larger problems than that Collector. Let's sap some stuff down here and hit pretty hard. That keeps this alive. Makes a whole bunch of stuff free. So this becomes good. This becomes good. And now this maybe kills something. It does kill something. Great. Alright, so I want shark plus totem here. Where is the siren going, if anywhere? This is at 65, so this is fine. I wonder if I just, like, don't play... I don't know, playing the Cuddle Hex is fine. I want Totem plus Shark. Um, if I'm willing to get Ember drained for one or two, I can do some cool things. If I draw the Pyro, I don't even notice the Ember drain, or if I draw something that kills this, I don't notice it. I think what I'm going to do is play the Cuddle Hex and restore this. Ooh, a shark. The Crossbite 3 does not kill that. Fortunate. I can kill this and not take fire damage. Just take the five fire damage. I just want to be safer. Alright, um, the world's kind of my oyster here. I don't think I want an ancient synergy to try to save a couple points of fire health. I'd rather do this. Do this, do this. Play the siren so I can restore and retreat it. Next. Um not. Just sap more so that this thing is not an issue. Probably. This one's a little touch trickier. Just sap more. I love pocketing that ancient synergy for later. Not gonna lie. 
Dark's taking 40, huh? We'll see about that. We'll go Ancient Synergy this more to make a whole bunch of stuff free. And we'll Razor Sharp Edge, Thing, Restore, Frozen Lance. some attention to you. Only like taking no damage bottom floor. Close to dead is this 70? Good there now. So let's just build up the sap here a little bit more. Good stuff. Okay, all, all this stuff is either actually dead or effectively dead. Send down this siren to this floor. Now I can either just like spam a bunch of stuff to buff the Siren, or I can try to squeeze a specific card like Ancient Synergy in my hand for next turn. Um, I can't guarantee to do that, but I can likely do that. So I can guarantee freeze a big card. I can pick one of the two drops to freeze, or I can try to freeze Ancient Synergy. I think I'm going to try to freeze Ancient Synergy, like 50% chance to. And if I miss, I would like to have... Frostbite? I think if I miss, I would like to have Frostbite. Let's cast this. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's cast this first. Draw a new card. Nice. That makes everything else here free. Oh, 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 you didn't do any damage to my team. I'm sorry. Let's send out of the present 2020. You heard it here first. Casual 400 gold gifts for a guard. That's super interesting. Wonder if it's good. Certainly not bad. <clears throat> I, if I wasn't facing Consume Seraph, I already would have liked. Clicked on that. So, but since I'm facing Consume Seraph, things are a little weirder. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 22 cards that are spells that are going to be staying in the deck. Oh, Thornfruit already counters this. Yeah, we can take the gifts. Second Restoring Retreat is totally fine. I believe my plan is still go right. I want to remove the Cuddle Hex from my deck for Channel Song reasons. Like, duplicates are still good. I miss out on upgrades on Lodestone Totems and Siren of the Sea by doing that, but I think that's fine. <laughs> Why would you make me second guess removing Cuddle Hex? We're probably buying Tethys' scales. Very good with our big heavy hitting spells and gifts. 
old over ancient synergy. I'll hold over ancient synergy and be able to cast all my stuff every turn for free. I want this plus 10 magic power here, unquestionably. That's very important. I want this here. The cost reduction should probably turn a 2 into a 1. Or actually, turning an Ice Tornado into a 2 is very good most of the time. Because once I have Ancient Synergy, that means this is free. Weird though, I do want a couple of threes. Make my life easier. You can also just do something like turn a Titan's Tooth into a one. That's not crazy. Then the twos make that free. Double stack. Double stack is not that great. I might do it on the Wildwood Sap. <laughs> Wonder if I just make this ice tornado consume. Alright, let's plan out a couple other things first. So I'm doing two card removes. One of them is on this cuddle hex, and one of them I guess is on Frozen Lance. I have 500 gold to work with plus a duplication. Let's assume that this is worth my gold. Now I can't re-roll and get an artifact. Root Split Mask is medium. It, in this deck, it's going to mean that enemies take another set of Frostbite damage before going up to the fire. That might be good enough. Is that better than better Ice Tornado? Ember stone upgrade and maybe also removing a couple more frozen lances. Maybe not. What am I duplicating? I'm probably just duplicating like a nut this like doubly upgraded Titan's tooth. Or an ice storm. Do I need the root split mask? I don't think I do. <laughs> do this. It's like a truck once. Ow. Is it Actually, is it correct to do this on Ancient Synergy? Ooh, quick math check. So, I'd be missing this Ice Tornado and the Restoring Retreats for free, but I'd be hitting all of my ones. Maybe it's correct to make that cheaper. Like, it's this. It's always going to miss this, I guess, unless I make this too. So it's essentially one card, one, two, three cards that it misses, and like these are kind of awkward anyway. Hmm. And maybe I just make this cheaper. still go for a remove. A little questionable. You can also duplicate a channel song to try and make it easier to get like 
that up in the beginning. But this this is just like such a good card. It's sweeping enemy lines and taking pressure off of me. That I think I want another. Just a lot of incidental frostbite as well for Seraph. Alright, found a shark. We play a shark. Play a Tethys. Play a nuke. Doom Frozen Lance over Sting, I think. turn. That's fine with me, I think. Then I get a secondary floor set up here. It does cause Tethys to take three damage if I do it this way. Probably fine. Good with consuming this this early. No, I'm not. Consume a sting. Do this to make these two cards free. And be good with it. That's fine. Fine. Fire grow plus thing. And we'll use channel song to get this totem. I haven't looked at this gilded wings yet, but I think we're good. That seems like we're good. Ah, it does it does hit me. Um Ooh, this is not okay. Numerous store? Or this is consuming anyway. Let's consume this. for a restoring retreat yet. I need to play a totem here before I restore one of these down. What am I consuming? Frozen Lance this turn, probably. I think that's a Frozen Lance. I can now restoring retreat this unit just to make the rest of the stuff free. Glimmer here. Just take some pressure off of this unit so I don't have to redeploy it. I think I do. Do this. Hail here. Get the sap going. I think we're real good at this point. Channel song, one thing left, one thing available. Um, I think I'm good with consuming gifts for a guard. Do that as my starting point. Then channel song for this. Then play this. Then click on spells in a random order until everything... should maybe like do a little something here that's that's I think worth a kill on this without fire damage or very close to it 
That is holdover. This is murder. This is murder. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, This point we can just kind of sting. We have plenty of those. Tap tap here to draw a card. Nope, this stuff. Wait, you're already dead, aren't you? Yeah, you're already dead. You're also already dead. Something tells me we're gonna be okay. Oh, Seraph has arrived. Seraph's already dead? But I had so many more things to do. Alright, so now that that one's down there. Well, Ancient Synergy. Play some cards. Just a couple. As a treat. Okay. Um, that was a Seraph fight where Seraph did not damage our units. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lodestone Totem. Still the best unit in the game. But not close. This combination is so, so strong. I love Stygian Awoken. Like, just hiding Tethys behind big tanks is a recipe for success, and Awoken, like, lets you heal those tanks and gives you access to things like Thorn Hollow that it can hide behind. Uh, like, it's very, very strong. Ooh, best sap applied, 462. Pretty good. Um, yeah, admittedly, this was, a uh, very much a Stygian run. Like, most of our cards were Stygian, um... From Awoken, we picked up a Pyrogrow for Ember, a Channel Song for Redundancy, a Glimmer for Sweep. We had these from the start for Scaling. We picked this up, it was fine, these were okay. But like the core of our deck, like the two Titan Sentries, the two Lodestone Golems, um, the Ice Tornadoes, the Gifts, the Ancient Synergy, that was all Stygian stuff. You're just Stygian people doing Stygian things. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Have a great rest of the day. Hope to see you again tomorrow.